I was a musician for several years, 30, 33 years to be exact. Old bluegrass to country to a little bit of rock and roll. You know what the rock and roll lifestyle is, uh, you'll know about what my youth was spent doing. Uh, yeah, it's, it's the old cliche uh, about rock and roll. Yeah, it's, it was, I had wild, I had a wild youth. Actually, I had a wild time up until about last October when I retired, but that's, uh, that's all behind me. My main occupation is, is uh, keeping my dogs. The dogs have just taken over his life. Before he had so many dogs, my dad was fairly outgoing. I mean, he's a good person to talk to, very intelligent, he likes to read, but um, the dogs have made him a bit of a recluse. George I found on the side of the road, him and his sister. Oh, no George, he's a good watchdog. He's one of my buddies. Siggy, don't be so loud, baby. These star pebbles, don't be so loud. These are my babies. Yes, they are. I have a favorite or two amongst all of my animals, but I will not say which one it is in front of my animals. They have puppies and puppies and puppies, and that's how there's so many. And in his eyes, they're all wonderful, and nobody can take good care as he does. So therefore, they must keep all of them, because nobody can take care of them, and you can just get the picture. That's Daisy. She's, uh, she's about to bless us with more, with more puppies. Any other female dog over there has at least two, three litters of puppies every year. Um, the puppies end up dying because there's something wrong with them. Mange spread throughout their dogs. I personally ended up with scabies. These animals need is by professionals in a larger organization than his own little trailer. They want to come outside, but I can't let them because I'm, I'm worried something will happen to them. The dogs eat the carpet, they eat the flooring, they eat the furniture. I hate to say it, but it's trash. And that's not the person that my dad was raised to be. He hoards objects too, so it's a very cluttered house. I don't understand how somebody could live like that. It gives me the heebie-jeebies, like it's disgusting to me. And I hate to say that because it's my dad. I lost 30% uh, of my heart. Uh, the top, half, top part of my heart doesn't function, it's just dead muscle. I can't work and the, my dogs keep me company, they keep me entertained. They're a driving force behind you know, the reason I'm still going. I basically don't have much to go for except for my animals. He can't spend the money for, you know, his own medications, his own medical needs. All his money, I feel, is going to the wrong place. It's going to feed all these animals. I really don't think my dad will live past his 60s, and my dad is 49. And for me to say that, that's awful, but I don't think my dad will live another 20 years in this stuff. The only thing that I really am concerned about is is losing my animals. I don't have a relationship with my dad, really. I mean, he's my next door neighbor and we rarely see each other. I have not stepped foot in his house in probably a year and a half. I want him to be a part of our family again. Some people are embarrassed to say, hey, this is my family, this is it. If it takes me getting embarrassed and people knowing how my dad lives to get him help, I'll do whatever it takes.